everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I want to share a very exciting video and I want to talk about my autumn winter capsule wardrobe. So these are kind of like my most worn items, my building blocks that I reach for on an everyday basis and probably every day I'm wearing at least one of these pieces this season. Um, I've done a similar video last year which I'm going to leave linked because it includes loads of basics as to coats and jumper dresses and all the things that we love but I wanted to do an updated version because I feel like especially this year I have found so many amazing pieces so I really felt the need to share that with you. If you're new to my channel today then I am Anna and I post fashion styling videos every single week so if you do not want to miss any of my uploads then make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and if you generally enjoy fashion art inspiration make sure that you also follow me on Instagram because that's where I post every single day and have a lot of more outfits. So let's jump right in. So I have a list of all of the most important things in my wardrobe. Um, some of them you might already know and some of them are probably new. I thought I'd start out with a classic and that is a classic trench coat. And a trench coat is something that is in these types of videos every single season and probably all of them and you already know it so I do want to get it out of the way but it is an essential building block and it is something that you invest once in and then you wear for the rest of your life. So I have two examples to show you. The first one you already know and that is my Zara trench coat. I have showed this so many times, this is in so many outfits and I just love this trench coat so so much and Zara brings these out every single season um, and it doesn't even matter which style of trench coat there are so many like more fitted ones more crop ones longer ones darker ones lighter ones oversized ones there are so many ways of wearing a trench coat but there's something about a trench coat that is never gonna go out of style Audrey Hepburn looked amazing in it Blair Waldorf looked amazing in it and I'm sure we all will look amazing in a trench coat so I cannot recommend to have one in our closets enough um, and if you have one that you're maybe not satisfied with then a trench coat I would say is that one key piece that is probably worth investing in twice in until you have found the one that is perfect for you. Um, so yeah, this one, like I said, is from Zara. It's a bit cropped, it's in a lighter like stone color and has these like very classic black buttons and I love to wear this on top of like leggings because it's slightly longer um, but also with skirts, with dresses, um, pretty much with anything, um, especially with like lighter colors. I love to pair a trench coat um, and I just think a trench coat is something that looks so chic and always finishes off an outfit perfectly. And if you do already have a trench coat that you really love, um, but you feel like, you know, you just want to experiment a bit, then I have something different to show you. And that is a white trench coat. Um, now, the one that I have here is slightly oversized um, and it looks quite boxy, hold up like this, but it does have like a little belt to tie around um, and cinch it in. And as you can see, it's like very loosely fitted. Also the sleeves are a bit wider. Um, and what I really like about this particular one is that it has light buttons. I showed you one from H&M before. I still love that one, but it does have black buttons. And my friend always says that I look like a chef in it. Um, so I don't think um, you have that problem with something like this where the buttons are lighter. Of course, you can always switch them out if you don't find a trench coat that has the buttons that you love. But generally I think this is such a nice style because it's slightly longer um, and you can use it for different purposes than the cropped one. You could probably wear this again with trousers but also with like more relaxed outfits when you do want to look a bit more laid back um, and you just want to have something like oversized to throw on and to kind of wrap yourself up in. Um, I think this is a lovely option and the white is just a bit more experimental than a classic beige or stone color but yeah this is again for those who like to experiment a bit staying with outerwear for one more minute the next thing on my list is a wrap style coat and i mean one of those one of those that look like a giant blanket that don't really have any shape or form or whatsoever in it um, but like a little belt to tie um, and cinch it in. And the reason why I want something like this in my wardrobe is because I feel like a lot of the times I'm quite dressy. I'm wearing preppy blouses, preppy sweaters like this um, and skirts and sometimes you may feel overdressed. So it's nice to have something that feels very relaxed to put on top to kind of dress it down a bit and you know when you're like walking down the streets when you're getting inside a tube or something like that 
it is nice to not always be the one that people look at and to have just something to cover everything up, wrap yourself in and of course they are warm as well. They are probably like not the perfect like winter coat but it is one of those like lighter coats that is made out of wool so it's quite warm. Um, I've showed you a very similar one from and other stories which I'm going to leave linked down below because I have shopped this at a place where I don't have a lot of experience and like the shipping and the whole shopping experience so I do want to test it out a bit more before I recommend this exact one to you. But generally I found myself reaching for this so so often and I thought I wouldn't because it's like not the most like preppy piece and not you know my finest coat. Um, but I honestly feel like I've reached for this like every single day. This is what I put on when I nip out to the shops, when I go into the city, when I meet friends, uh, when I just get into my car. I always like to throw on something like this that just feels like a blanket. It's so cozy and I still feel like it gives off that Parisian chic look, which is something that I totally adore, especially for autumn and winter. Um, so yeah, a wrap style coat that dresses down your outfit is definitely one of my recommendations. So my next point is a pair of knee-high boots um, and I've talked about knee-high boots in depth in my video how to style knee-high boots so I'm going to leave that linked because there are many amazing outfits I'm showing you pretty much all of my knee-high boots um, talking you through the pros and cons so if you do want to know more about these then please go and watch that video um, because it would spring the frame of this video. But um, I'm going to show you the two options that I think are probably the most versatile and the ones that you will want to have in your wardrobe and that are the ones that I personally wear the most. So the pair that I want to show you is my chocolate brown Fairfax and Favour um, knee-high boots. They are called the Bulgarias. Sorry for the spelling again. But they are in this chocolate brown color and I absolutely love them. These are like probably my most worn ones other than the... Uh, gray caprice ones that you will see in the video so if you want a more affordable version then I could highly recommend that these ones are a bit more expensive um, but they really are worth the money I have never felt so luxuriously dressed with leggings and a jumper when paired with these boots um, they just look absolutely amazing they dress up every outfit and the reason why I think um, you would love to have a chocolate brown is because it literally goes with any color like any neutral that you can think of goes with it uh, sometimes with brown you know that brown tones clash but that never really happens with the chocolate because it's so dark it goes with beiges it goes with camels it goes with creams it goes with pinks it goes with pretty much everything um, so I think a pair of these is absolute must when it comes um, to knee-high boots. For those of us who um, already have something like this or who like to be more experimental or those of us who like to dress really, really light, I would highly recommend a pair of new knee-high boots. I'm just taking out um, the shoe trees, but I have these pairs. Um, this one I bought at the Zalando outlet store. I'm sorry, I'm probably not going to be able to link these. But I have two very similar pairs that I can leave linked down below. But a pair of these will work, especially if you are trying to find a boot that works for autumn and winter, but also for spring, because you can also pair this with white really really easily and again the leather is very easy to care for um it's very good to wear something like that in the rain and it personally just depends on your preference so to explain that i want to go to the next point which is a pair of ankle boots so i would say have one pair of knee-high boots and one pair of ankle boots if you want to go very subtle and you are just building your wardrobe then I would say a dark brown pair of knee-high boots because those boots are already quite statement so it's good to have a color that isn't that statement and a pair of nude ankle boots and I'm going to show you my favorite all-time boots and these are these ones from and other stories they bring these back every year at least since I bought them so I can definitely leave those linked down below these are probably my most worn boots ever and I just absolutely love them. They look amazing with like jeans, with leggings, generally with trousers. If you do wear tailor pants to work um, then these look absolutely amazing with that as well but you could also dress it up um, with skirts and dresses. You could wear tights with that if you like to wear like light colored tights um, or patterned tights then these look amazing with that um, but also just generally you could wear these in like spring and summer as well. 
like I said, my most worn boots and for those days where it's maybe very chilly and raining um, and you don't want to wear any suede, then a pair of these boots is really, really good and generally so versatile. You will love the color. And for those of us who don't um, feel the need of wearing this as a knee-high style, because I know it's quite statement, um, then this is definitely the style that you would like to have as your building block. So with that said, you could of course also do it vice versa and go for a pair of cream knee-high boots and a pair of brown ankle boots. Um, the ones that I have right here are from Pretty Ballerinas and again I have worn these boots so so much. They are an amazing building block especially if you do like to wear um, tights in winter. These look amazing on like brown cashmere tights. Um, I have been wearing that style so so much last year and this will probably come back once the temperatures really drop and you do have to grab those wool tights because I think then um, it's always nicer to wear ankle boots than knee-high boots. I don't know why, I just feel like it looks a bit more put together and polished and it just goes a bit better. So yeah, these are the styles that I wanted to show you. I love these boots, I wear these so so much and again one of my most ones. Okay, the next point on my agenda is a pleated skirt. Um, and I feel like a pleated skirt is something that you definitely need in your autumn winter wardrobe because these types of skirts will go with tights, they will go with jumpers, they will go with blouses. You can layer them up, you can dress them up and down and a pleated skirt is just something that always looks good. So I have some examples that I want to show you because I know that I reach for them a lot and I think if you like my style then you probably will do that too. Um, so let me just quickly grab these. So the first one that I have is a very old one from Zara. Um, it has this like houndstooth print which I really really like and it just looks so good tucked into jumpers, worn with like woolen tights if you do if you do get cold very quickly. Um, this one I just wear so so much. I'm um, sadly this is out of stock I think uh, but a lot of you might actually have that or I'm going to leave a very similar version link down below but I find that I reach for this so so often even though I've had it for a couple of years I still cannot get enough of it and I am happy every single year I can pull this one out. Um, same goes for the one at the back, um, which I think is probably more easy to get. And this is like a brown pleated skirt. It kind of looks like a school skirt, but I really like that because it just looks so seamlessly paired with like chocolate brown leggings. But it looks so seamlessly paired with chocolate brown tights and then the ankle boots that I just showed you. And then you can pretty much wear like any top on top or any blouse or jumper on top and you just have so many good outfits with all like the same building block for the bottom half. Um, it keeps you really warm but you do look very feminine and it is very subtle. It's an easy thing to inject into your wardrobe if you do want to start wearing more skirts throughout the autumn winter months because I know that a lot of us still struggle with that. And then the last one I want to show you is this one. This, my arm is getting heavy. Wow, okay, so this one is from And Other Stories. It's this khaki color, um, which I found is a very versatile color and something that you can easily pair. And I really love this one because it's slightly longer um, and that also makes it more office appropriate. So this paired with like some nude ankle boots or nude knee-high boots, depending on how cold it is, and a cream jumper like the one I'm wearing right now, is a perfect outfit. Pop the wrap style coat on top and you have like a complete head to toe outfit Fit. So as you can see all of the pieces that I show you are meant to go with each other so that you can build a lot of outfits with them and if you do want to have like a few pieces in your wardrobe or if you just want to start investing in a few pieces um, that will accompany you every single year then this is definitely the place to start. And as you can see all of my pleated skirts are in a slightly darker color and that is because I think that pleated skirts go a lot better with tights than like those stiff mini skirts, um, which we will get onto in a minute. But I just think these don't go as well with tights and I love to wear tights in winter. So a pleated skirt is definitely a must, especially if you start to freeze quickly. Um, I would recommend these because they are just so easy to pair with tights. So this brings me to my next point, which is a mini skirt. And I have some examples that I want to show you, but first of all, I want to talk about the colors. So with the mini skirts, I like to go for lighter colors, just because I feel like these look really good with knee-high boots and with like light colored tops. And if you do like to have an all light color palette, um, I would always choose something like this because let's be honest, a pleated like white skirt, 
um, kind of has those like tennis look and it's more like spring summery and it's not really appropriate for the season that we're in whereas something like this with a lot of structure just looks really really good um, and it's very appropriate for the season um, and also you could of course wear flush color tights underneath I'm going to leave my favorite links I'm going to leave my favorites linked down below because of course if it gets cold I do wear tights as well um, and the ones that I want to show you are first of all this like tweed mini skirt which is in this like lovely cream color I got this one from H&M and it does have these like lovely little pockets on the front they're faux you can't actually put anything in here but I just think this looks so good and you know with the jumper I'm wearing right now and the cream knee high boots that I just showed you it's a perfect look pop the coat on top and you have an instant outfit um, and this is just something I really really love and then also on the back I do have this like knitted skirt which is from Zara they have brought the exact same one out this year so I can leave that linked um, and again this is something I like to wear with like jumpers um, but also with blouses and it's just really cozy and warm and I don't feel the need um, for you know popping on wool tights underneath which is why I think these go so well and especially in autumn this is really nice um, next up I have two examples from the other stories um, this one is like in this camel color with the check print and then I also have a lighter one um, that also has a camel print on top um, and I do think they bring these back every single season as well at least they have everything in stock this year um, and especially this one I have been wearing so so much I love this look paired with like a jumper like this with a white blouse with pff, something camel with something brown it looks amazing as well I've worn this like with a brown roll neck and it looked amazing um, you could easily pair this with camels with creams with beiges it goes with everything um, and you can pop brown knee-high boots with it you could also pop the light knee-high boots with it and if you have a warmer day then you could also go with ankle boots with this one um, so yeah a light colored mini skirt is definitely something of my autumn winter essentials just make sure you get a decent quality um, these ones are made out of wool this one is made of like tweedy boucle material and this again is knitted so choose a material that is going to keep you warm because otherwise you're gonna freeze um, but I honestly feel like I don't freeze in these and I love the look of them. I think they look so chic and elegant um, and again this Parisian chic style that I really love especially for autumn and winter. So of course you do not have to get all of these skirts. Choose one pleated skirt that you like and one of the mini skirts that you like and then you will have a building block if you want to go for either of the directions of outfits that I just mentioned. So my next building block is a white blouse and there are so many white blouses out on the market um, but I thought I'd just show you the one that I have been wearing so so much lately and no I'm not having the tag in it's just this like ribbon that's still in because I'm a lazy person okay um, so yeah this is the one that I want to show you this is from Zara and it does have these like gorgeous um, buttons with the pearly details and then there's like pussy bow that you can tie at the front um, to give it like that really preppy Blair Waldorf style um, and the reason why I wanted to show you this one is because I just think it's so beautiful it's one of the statement pieces and probably all of us have a simple white button-down shirt in their closet and that is fine but if you do want to elevate your wardrobe then this is definitely a very good building block because I wear this on top of any of these skirts for example one of the and other story skirts I do have to figure out how to move this around but look at that that's a super cute pretty outfit um or you could pair it in an all light color or you could go with either of the pleated skirts um and what i really love about this one is that you can also like layer it up put a sweater vest on top um and again this one works perfectly as a layering piece you could also pop a proper sweater on top uh, or a jumper and then you do have another look you could also you know undo the bow and just have it underneath if you wear a jumper on top so that it doesn't look too grannyish although I sometimes really like that look as well um, there are so many ways you could style this blouse and I honestly didn't think I would get as much wear out of it as I already did this is one of the pieces I reach for every single day uh, also for work I wear this one with like trousers and some boots and my trench coat and that is an instant outfit and again it's 100% made out of the pieces that I just shared with you so I just love these types of things that you just buy and you can wear multiple ways so this is definitely one of the building blocks in my wardrobe that I do not want to miss okay so the next thing that I want to share with you is a statement knit 
Um, and I mean something that looks a bit more elevated, something a bit more preppy. Like the jumper that I'm wearing right now with the pearl details. I love this one because it just feels so casual, but it looks chic. Um, and I always get so many questions about it. And this one I bought at H&M last year. Um, so in some countries that probably won't be available anymore, but maybe you will be lucky. So I'm definitely also going to leave it linked. But I also have this year's version of this jumper, which looks a bit different. So you could actually have both, but it's just something <laughs> that just makes me so happy. And I'm talking about this cardigan, which I got from Zara. And as you can see, it does have loads of like pearl embellishments down the sleeves, on the bodice, um, and they almost look like little flowers. I hope that you can see it. And of course, like the pearl and rhinestone buttons and down the front and the cable knit everywhere it's just so pretty and preppy and this makes me so happy because you could pair this with a pair of leggings with either of these skirts um with wool tights underneath or without um it doesn't really matter you could pair this so so casually but you still look very preppy and chic. And the reason why I really like this cardigan in particular is because you could wear it as a jumper if it's closed up, but you could also open it up and just wear it on top of, you know, any other outfit and it would look so, so cute and adorable. I really love this one. It's so, so pretty and it feels like something a princess would wear in winter. Um, so yeah, this is definitely one of my very lucky finds this season and I cannot wait to pair this in loads of many like different ways. One point I almost forgot, so I added in right now, are neutral leggings. I wear these so, so much and let's be honest, jeans are uncomfortable. I don't like the look of blue jeans. I don't always want to wear white jeans and I just much prefer leggings. I just think they can look more chic and they also are just much more comfortable. Uh, so I do have some very lovely options right here. I'm just quickly going through them because again, it goes same things as always. You can pair these with any of the pieces that I just showed you. Um, so first one being this pair of leggings with these like beautiful buttons. Buttons. These are from Zara in an ecru color. I've been wearing them so much, especially with like my brown boots and a brown jumper or like a cream colored jumper and cream boots. You could just pop anything with it. Um, and especially for those cold and rainy days, I do not want to wear skirts or dresses. So I really like to opt for these. Um, also, I do have these, uh, which I bought off Zalando um, and they are again, in this like taupe and they are in a more like camel beige color which goes a lot better with like light colored tops as this one especially if it is raining we do not want to wear like light colored bottoms um so this is one that i have been wearing a lot especially for the office and i like how thick it is you could even pop thermals underneath if it's really cold um so this is definitely a recommendation if you want to experiment a bit more or if you are totally in fashion game, you could also go for like leather leggings. These are mine, which are from Zara. They have brought out very similar ones this year, which I will leave linked. Um, but again, they're like in a similar color. And these, for example, I would wear with ankle boots because I don't like the look of leather tucked into knee high boots. Um, so this is why I would also opt for some like normal leggings as well because they just look better with knee-high boots but these are the types of leggings that especially if it's raining it's so nice to put these on because you just feel so warm and cozy in them because they are warmer than normal leggings um, just because the material is not that breathable and they just look so fashionable and chic and leather leggings again come back into fashion every single season so if you do have a pair then you know that they won't go out of style and the last one that I have um, is also from Zara. Again, they have brought this one back this year and it is a pair of suede leggings. And I have showed these to you last year as well. Um, I reach for them a lot this year. And again, they look good with any of the tops that I showed you. Pop a jacket on top, um, a pair of boots, and you have an instant outfit. It's so easy if you do have a good base um, to rotate with. Um, so yeah, I definitely like these ones and I feel like these are more comfortable than leather leggings. So if you, weren't lucky to find any leather leggings that suit you, maybe try some suede leggings instead. Okay, so we've talked a lot about clothes, but they're not all that we wear. Of course, we need some accessories. So I do want to include handbags. 
Um, and I know you're probably gonna hate me for this one because I say this in every single video, but you need a neutral handbag. And my favorite one is my DNG Sicily. I just wear this so, so much and it's proven to be a very good autumn handbag as well, just because the color goes with everything. But you can of course find bags in a similar color, like this very nude color. My Calvin Klein bag, for example, has a pretty much identical color to it. Um, and these just go with everything. Um, all of the colors that I've mentioned so far, which to be honest are not a lot because I like my neutrals, but all of them go so so well with this bag um, and I just really really like it. So that is mine, but I know I talk about this one a lot, so I wanted to show you an alternative, something I have also been reaching for lately and something that is even and something that is even more appropriate for the season and that is a brown handbag. This one is my Teddy Blake bag. Um, again, I think you know this one. I, lo I love to wear my bags on rotation and I love to get loads of wear out of them um, for many, many seasons. So this one um, is in this like lovely tan color, which again is a color that is really classic, that comes back every single autumn and winter and that always looks good. And this looks good with like chocolate browns, this looks good with like creams and beiges and camels. This just looks good with pretty much anything. Again, like I say, I just love if you have a wardrobe where you can just mix and match everything. Um, this one's a bit smaller, but you could also, of course, wear it crossbody. This goes for both of these bags because let's be honest, if we are all wrapped up in our coat and scarf and I don't know what, it's nice to just have our hands free um, and especially in autumn winter, I like to wear my bags crossbody like this. I just feel like, it's so much more stress-free and yeah, this one I think is so, so cute. Um, definitely going to leave this one a link down below as well. And then finally, not a clothing item, but something really practical that we will all need and an absolute autumn winter essential is an umbrella. I really don't hate the rain. I find it quite therapeutic, but I don't like to get wet. Um, and I like to be prepared, so I do have a pink umbrella just to brighten up these dark days. Um, but I love especially these like really small umbrellas that you can pop into your handbag. I hate having to carry around things because I just forget them. Like, I can remember to take my handbag with me, but nothing else in that. I just literally forget everything. Um, and it's just so hard to like always have to carry something. Um, so yeah, this one I got from Amazon and it folds down so, so tiny. Um, I'm gonna hold my phone against this. This one's the iPhone 11 and as you can see, it's like probably the same size minus this um, plastic handle. But other than that, it's the same size as an iPhone 11. Um, so it does fit into like every single handbag um, and I'm not gonna open it or do I? No, I don't. I'm not gonna open it. But it's a pink, lovely little umbrella. I'm going to leave it linked. Um, it's really nice and affordable, but it's just something different and I feel like we don't... Or at least, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one, but I feel like we never really spend money on our umbrellas and just get the ones, you know, that we get like for free at like events or as... Um, little giveaways or goodies uh, or have ones from our moms and dads that are super old or that we just have out of practicality or that we just bought anywhere last minute um, but yeah sometimes it's just nice to have something that looks fashionable as well so a pink mini umbrella is my last autumn winter essential and if you do a dress neutral and like all the colors I showed you so far this pop of pink will go with everything um, so again it kind of matches <laughs> So yeah, these were all my pieces that I want to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which are your most worn pieces this season and then I'll say thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!